Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a quick look at Beauty Secrets Christy. It was my birthday and Beauty Secrets Christy was a gift from my fiance. Um, I did unbox her on the night that she was given me. I didn't want to film it because I felt like I just wanted to experience the unboxing um, alone with my uh, fiance and not worry about makeup and cameras and microphones and lighting and all of that. Um, so I, I apologize for that, but um, it is what it is. So I'm just going to take you through a look at the box. So it says at the top, extra long hair. Then we have an image of Christy and it says her arms move. It says Beauty Secrets Christy. Um, it also says the realistically poseable doll with beauty action arms. Her product number is 1295 and she is copyrighted 1979 as was Barbie. Um, now the Christie logo is in a brown colour, which I really love. It's very 70s, especially with the orange and yellow and pink. Um, and then on the side we have a beautiful illustration of her posing there with her um, carry case. I really love these illustrations. She came on this green insert inside the box. So that was her little seat. She was sitting down. She was held in with a whole bunch of twist ties um, and her baggie of accessories was held in with one piece of sticky tape. She also came with instructions so that there is the um, accessories that she came with. And it is Barbie pictured in the instructions rather than Christy. It would have been nice to have Christy pictured rather than Barbie. And then we have a Barbie World of Fashion booklet. She uses the Superstar Barbie face sculpt. Um, she has sort of this yellowish mustard colored eyeshadow and her eyes are a mixture of brown and the yellow mustard color. She has um, very thin eyebrows, peach sort of colored lips and some blush. So she has these curly bangs at the front and then long wavy hair around the back which goes down to her bottom. She has the rotational neck joint. Her arms can move in all sorts of directions, but I'll show you a little bit more of the arms later. She has a twist and turn waist and bendable legs. Now she comes in this outfit, which is sort of like a mixture between sort of like a nightgown and sort of like a really funky disco outfit. So she has this sheer ribbed um, jacket here with lace trim and then she has this long sort of um synthetic um i don't even know what you call this fabric but they used it a lot in the superstar era it's kind of this ridgy um synthetic fabric which looks like it might be a knit of some sort i'm not sure but it is elasticated and has the same lace as on the cuffs of the jacket at the top here. And then if you pull this off, she is wearing a little sort of play suit, jumpsuit type thing. It's a halter neck. So it ties in the back there and it has one metal snap here. And it also has the lace all around it. And all of these items are sewn together with... So they're sewn together with this silver thread, which kind of gives it this sparkly quality. And that silver thread is also continued on in the lace. 
And she also came with these open toe pumps or mules, whatever you prefer to call them. They are marked Taiwan. I believe all of the accessories and the doll itself were manufactured in Taiwan. This here is her beauty case, which can open up and doubles as sort of like a, um, what would you, what do you call it? A um, vanity. You just open it up and pop the mirror there with the um, hinge going in that little notch there. And she came with a face cloth. A face cloth. A powder puff with a blue ribbon. I hate this camera sometimes. A hairdryer. A comb and brush, a mirror and small compact, and they all have like this sort of floral motif on them. Two perfume bottles, a lipstick and a toothbrush with a little hook type device to go on her thumb. And if you try really hard you can manage to get all of these items in the case and close up. but. And she came with a stand, which is this one leg grip stand. I don't really like these, so I'm going to probably put her on another stand. These stands tend to, because all the weight is placed on one leg, the doll tends to tilt to one side. Um, and it, it's, they're also very easily warped and they don't stand properly. Her shoulders have been cut away in order to allow her arms to move. So she has this big button in the back and when you push on one side, that side move, that arm moves, sorry. Then you push on the other side of the button and that arm moves. And if you push the button right in the middle, both arms move. So one, two, and three. And then you can pop her accessories in her hands and make her do various things. So Christy also has bendable arms, which can be bent any way you'd like. So they don't just bend back and forward, but they also bend to the side. So she has more range of movement. She also has poseable wrists, so they can rotate and they can go back and forward. I'll just illustrate for you what she can do before we go. So you just pop the toothbrush on her hand like so. Position her so that the item is close to where it should be. And then you simply push the button and she can brush her teeth. See, that is, the toothbrush is my favourite one to use. I just find it so funny. Barbie was also available in this line. She came with all the same accessories and she also had a pink outfit. The same outfit, but it was pink, um, naturally, because she is Barbie. And I do remember having that outfit when I was a child, the pink one. Um, I don't think I had the doll, so I don't know where the outfit came from. Maybe it came with a bunch of toys that were like gifted to us or something um but yeah that's one reason why i wanted a beauty secrets doll but i decided to go with christy because um i don't know i just found barbie to look a bit starey yeah she kind of looked demonic so i decided to go with christy yeah i really wanted beauty secrets christy also because she has this sort of very sort of late 70s early 80s look that's very kind of disco but almost not disco um i know she just seems to really represent the times really well if you wanted to check out a review of barbie i believe my friend raymond has a review of barbie on his channel so please go and check that out i will link it below down there that is beauty secrets christy i hope you enjoyed this review and i'll see you all next time bye bye